Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus, and today I've got something a little different than my normal stuff. So, we are going to be installing Minecraft on the $9 computer known as the chip. So, if you have a chip and you want to do this, the first thing you have to do is go in the description or click this annotation if I remember to put it on the screen to go to the forms uh, where the fix is posted on how to fix the github uh, the git repository or whatever it's called on the chip for whatever reason it's screwed up out of the box and a friend of mine helped me fix it so that's the only reason I know it's there, because when I tried to do this before, um, Git wouldn't work. But now, somehow, he fixed it. So, I'll have a link to that fix down below. Alright. Now, that you have your Git fixed, we need to git clone git colon slash slash uh github uh, backwards hub dot com forward slash kicker two two zero zero four forward slash bs nah, forward slash bscc hyphen mc hyphen edition and that will clone to your computer so we need to cd bscc tab enter and then ls now you can see everything that's installed so now we need to uh, run the install so cd install dot sh and this will pop up so with this up we just hit yes it'll gather the information about the chip make directories and move files where they need to be now he's touching the files apparently and after it sets the permissions it's done so now we need to run bscc so type in bscc in all caps hit enter and there we go please select which version of minecraft you wish to run so we want to run spigot so enter spigot and then enter whatever version you want um, there will be more details on the form on how to add versions and stuff like that, I'm sure. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and do 1.92. So now it's going to go ahead and download the server jar to your computer. And now that it's done, we need to set our max RAM. Well, the chip only has 495 megabytes of RAM. So... We're going to go sparing and only do 256. That way there's enough RAM for the system to run and all that fun stuff. So we'll go ahead and enter and 128 is the minimum. And now it's going to start the server. This will take roughly 60 seconds. So fast forward. Okay. Once that's done, the EULA agreement will pop up. So now all you have to do is hit through. And, well, if you're seeing this screen, this means that everything is good. So now we need to do BSCC again. So hit enter, and now we type in BSCC menu. And this pops up. And what we need to do is hit start server mm, your server is loading and that's it so the server should be starting up and now let's go to admin the password is PASS and then we need to go to console and this will load up the server console yeah so it's just still on uh, the original spawn so this will take a long time because it has to do this three times 
one for the overworld, one for the nether, one for the end. So we're only 16% done with the first one. So, fast forward! Oh, hey! Server's up! Didn't even realize. Alright, so let me stretch this window out. There we go. Multiplayer. Server! Alright! That didn't take terribly long. I mean, it took uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, maybe less. Let me look. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, no idea. Hey, a server! Welcome to server! Yay! Okay, well, that's actually loading really well. Um, so, I'm going to just slide this down here, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Q. Ah, there we go. Keep mashing Q. Okay, so, now that we're out of console... Wait, what am I... I was wanting to show you guys something, but I need it in console! I'm stupid! Anyways... I need to op myself, so just, uh, OP, okay, yeah, let's quit, and then, uh, go back, and go back, exit, go back into BSCC here, and go to chat, and then OP, my name, cryptic, Nexus. Okay, so now on my Minecraft, I should have just got OP'd. And I did. So we can do game mode. Let's see. Oh, fine. Game mode. C. So we can fly around. So this is straight spigot server uh, no mods no nothing done to it yet running oop there was a hitch so flying you do tend to move faster than the server so we'll walk um, let's just hop back into creative or bleh, not creative well Yeah, game mode S. Okay. We gotta wait for it to catch up here. As soon as I go game mode S, you'll see it's updated. Do to do, do. Yep, still in game mode C. Well, let's just go ahead and get the obligatory uh, TNT out so we can play with it. Because why not? Derp. It's this, not these. Alright. So, dispenser. Well, that's just going to blow up. So, dispenser. Nope, nope. Quit derping and herp. Damn it! Ah, uh, yeah. It's froze. So, let's just... Whoa. Let's just drop some TNT in here, then. Yep, can't even update a tick. Oop. Oh, game mode just got changed. Still not updating ticks. All right, whoa, whoa, everything just disappeared. Creepy. Okay, so let's go back into game mode C so I can get a lever. They don't have one. And let's just go ahead and give me 64 TNT. And then back into game mode S. Okay, that that's better. So 
uh, I would definitely recommend before actually playing on the server fly around the you know immediate area for like 40 blocks or well 40 blocks uh, 40 um, chunks or so in a square or whatever to load in the area and let it set for about five minutes before you actually start using it um, because you there's normal lag like this in Minecraft so one two three four so about four seconds which isn't terrible I mean I've seen a lot worse uh, back when I was doing this on the original Pi it was upwards of 10 seconds before I started running spigot um, that was on just the regular Minecraft server so three four I should have picked those up come on so as you can see very very laggy so yeah it does work so I mean up oh, there I picked it up so I mean it does work and that time I picked it up and that time I picked it up uh, it's just it is quite a bit slow one okay that registered right away so after you get a couple mods on to uh, reduce lag and stuff like that it might be a little bit better but I think it's a little too much for this little guy to handle um, let me pause this slide it out of the way cancel this and then let's go ahead and exit and H top real fast so with me just signed into the server and doing nothing we are using 310 megs of RAM and 100% CPU doing nothing see just setting here so that explains why it's so slow because this little arm chip is struggling anyways hopefully you guys like this um if you did please leave me a like if you didn't man eh, you know what to do like it anyways <laughs> anyways um I put out content every monday wednesday and friday occasionally I, sp I put out special content um sometimes stuff like this when i get bored and i'm working with friends or sometimes i'll just put this out on my regular days anyways this has been Cryptic Nexus. Thank you guys for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Bye! Boop. Bye!